masturbation. Beating your meat. Whacking your willy. Jerking your McGurkin. Spanking and yanking. Oh yeah, it goes by many names, but the simple fact remains, all men do it. Yes, all men do it. Now with that being said, would you like to hear something that's funnier than watching your drunk friend get dry humped by a poodle? I'll tell you, some, <laughs> some women actually believe that their husbands and their boyfriends don't do it. My husband wouldn't do something like that because it's, it's vulgar, it is juvenile, and it is disgusting. And I know him better. Well, I hate to bust your bubble, sweetheart, but if it's been two or three weeks and that man ain't been laid, he's done beat off 12 times. Men don't do well with temptation. Let me just tell you that much. And I know, I'm speaking from experience. If something gets me fired up my back's against the wall, I'm gonna find a dark hole to crawl off into or a bathroom to hit, and I'm gonna rub one out. Simple as that. Now I was gonna tell you guys some stories about that, but instead, I'm gonna fucking sing it to you. So here we go, we're gonna do a parody. Oh yeah. Toby Keith, how do you like me now? Motherfucking parody. Yeah, it's gonna be filthy. That's what happens when you listen to Old Hillbilly J. Well, I was always the horny guy that was trying to get in between your thighs and you could see from a mile away I was crazy about you. And you were always such a tease. You'd shake your tits and say, look at these, but you never even let me suck on your boobs. But one day in math class, you let me rub on your ass and I was about to explode. I told the teacher so fast, I'm gonna need that hall pass Out the door and to the bathroom I go, uh, it's time to go rub on out <laughs> Yeah, it's time to go rub on out Gotta get this one out the way Or I'm gonna be walking around school with a rock hard dick today I couldn't convince you to fuck me or put my pecker in your mouth So I took matters into my own hands I had to go rub one out <laughs> oh, that's good shit. That's good shit. Oh, it gets better. One day I walked in the KFC and I saw a girl with some double D. She was sitting at a table with a baby on her lap. Now I know that this sounds kind of rude, but I couldn't take my eyes off her boobs. But what happened next almost gave me a heart attack. That baby started crying, I swear I'm not lying. She slowly undid her top. She whipped her left tit out, stuck it in that kid's mouth. My jaw hit the floor, my pecker was hard as a rock. Um, time to go rub one out. <laughs> it's time to go rub one out in the bathroom of KFC. I never thought one titty would ever do this to me. I wish I was that baby with that big boob in my mouth. I thought I had more self-control, but I had to go rub one out. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, I'm going to hell. I'm going with a smile though. And a boner. I wonder if it's too hot to whack off in hell. <laughs> yeah boy. I had to go rub one out. Had to give my little wiener a jerk. Or I was gonna walk up and rip that other titty right out her shirt. So instead of catching a felony, I took a different route. Beating off while eating a chicken leg. I had to go rub one out. Hey! <laughs> I'm sorry, Colonel Sanders. I'm a monster. <laughs> Is it wrong that I'm using gravy? <laughs> Motherfuckers, there it is. That's your parody for today. I hope you bastards like it. I'm Hillbilly J, and I'm out of this, motherfucker. Stay filthy.